Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Aquarius, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Aquarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, Aquarius, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Aquarius, please, okay? This reading for today, this is a collective reading. We will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship, all right? This reading for today, this is for the Aquarius sign. Let us see what's coming towards you guys. What is the guided message for the Aquarius friends out there? Thank you guys for your support. If you would like to further connect with me, Aquarius, I invite you to check out the description box below. You will see the details of our website, the products and the services, everything is in there. Let's see what is coming towards you guys. What is the message for Aquarius, please? What is the hidden energy? You've got a strength card. In the immediate future, you've got the high priestess. And the page of cups. Okay, let us start your reading. Um, you're starting a reading with the Will of Fortune. And then you've got the Nine of Cups. And then you've got the Nine of Swords. The Will of Fortune, this is a very lucky kind of vibe. Free-flowing. It seems to be... Um, something tells me that you have come to a point where... something is something good is happening in your life you know let's let's acknowledge the will of fortune the nine of cups this is like it's a good vibe it's you know you're lucky you have a there's something appreciative and grateful about the will of fortune and the nine of cups okay i would say you're such in a good spirit you're such in a good mood you know um the will of fortune seems to be you release something nine of cups everything seems to be falling into places like less drama less stress in here your wish is coming through the will of fortune you're attracting luck love and it's just a very abundance and a very pros prosper i mean your prospect your target the situation you are you know life in general is good <clears throat> The Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, you know, it's it's a reading where I can't complain, sunshine, Light, life is good, life is good. The Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, yeah, Knight of Wands. You could be looking forward to travel or to have more break, to have more time to, like you've, you, you've realized that spending time to your friends, to your family, traveling, planning, going out, exploring, it's it's such a nice feeling nine of cups you it, th there is a sense of you you feel you're back again to yourself you know it's been a while since the last time you feel this way but it's fleeting it, you feel lucky you have a job this life is so spontaneous for you there's highs and lows but it's great sunshine nine of cups you have unburdened yourself to something to somebody that's why you feel so much there's so much gratefulness coming from your vibe from your um from your reading in here aquarius because i'm kind of picking up your energy overall like you could be looking into i want to travel more i want to enjoy life nine of cups i want to connect with the right people with the right you know good kind of vibe to uplift my spirit nine of cups yes the hierophant card you're committed to be happy you're recommitting yourself to you are recommitting yourself to be happy to expo explore life as much as possible to be more grateful so you can combat the nine of swords the nine of swords in here it speaks about overthinking over analyzing but that's part of life you know with the nine of cups and the nine of swords you realize that there will always be problem there will always be hiccups there will always be delay and that's part of life and to combat that to counter that nine of swords when there's problem, there's a solution. And every solution I solve, sunshine, I reward myself. Or I want more. I will explore more. Like a problem will not stop me from exploring life. 
from looking for love, from looking whatever I want in life. So it's 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 a reading where, okay, there's a problem and it's my mission to solve the problem. Most especially if your problem is connected to your wants, your needs, your desire. I am the one who's going to solve that. And every time I solve that, it feels so happy, you know, nine of cups. Something tells me that you have achieved a major, you know, major things around you. Things are working. I would say you're more focused on things and energy and people that's working versus that's not working. And though there are some things, people in situation that's not working, you're still grateful because for as long as you're alive, you will search for the answer, you know. So very, very good, high spirited kind of reading for you. Um, Aquarius. So keep it, keep going. Now, the person, the situation connected to you or will connect with you in the next seven to 10 days. You've got the two of swords, the knight of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. You know, in terms of relationship, this could be a friend, this could be a relative, this could be a romantic interest. I would say you're not getting the best attention to the to, to this person it could be a female it's possible that this person you know they could be overseas they could be busy i'm also picking up that this person is somewhere um somewhere very a bit far or something a place where there's no signal or you could not contact this person or talk to this person properly it could be a friend it could be a lover But it's a personal relationship. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. For this person, I think you have already made a lot of effort. You have made an attempt to contact them. They did receive the message. Um, if you look at the Two of Swords, you know, I think you have made an attempt. You have contacted them. You never get a reply. Or I would say they're not giving you the best attention. Um, they can remove the blindfold in this two of swords they can remove the blindfold and look into you and reply to you but they refuse to do that they they kept the blindfold this is the two of swords is always an, an energy reading where you can look at it if you want to you can remove the blindfold but they refuse to they're not making an effort to read it to understand you okay two of swords um for some reason i'm kind of picking up that this person this friend or lover it could also be like a relative Somehow they villainize you. Um, they only see the not so good side of your connection. They are not actually, they're not, they're, they have forgotten how romantic, how good, how nice your connection. You know, they're, they're more focused on the bad side, not the good side. That's why this person is not communicative or they refuse to understand you. Okay. Um, they don't want to make an effort to understand you because if you look at the three of the two of swords, it's it's dark, and after the two of swords, it's the three of swords. So the more you push this person or situation to kind of come back to you, it will just hurt you. So I'm kind of picking up that Knight of Pentacles. They come around, you know. Um, eventually they will come to terms on what exactly they want to ask, what they want to do to you. It's gonna be their own timing. Um, Aquarius. So this nine of swords, this person or situation is possibly one of the reason why you have a nine of swords in here. Like whenever you think of this person or situation, you tend to shift to nine of swords, overthinking, worries, concern. But then you also know how to counter that nine of cups. You know, if you have a problem or worries and concern with this vibe, you know how to counter that. You know how to make it disappear. That's that's what that is what good that is what is good about your reading in here. Most especially in the immediate future, you have the high priestess in here. You're really good. This is really good way of handling. I would say unwanted thoughts, unwanted feelings. Now this person, this situation, I see them coming into terms, to replying, to responding to you, but it would be. Um, it would be in the timing that they want because the outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. It means that at some point, you know, at some point they will contact you. They will call you 
It could also be connected to money or finances. They would have to update you with money, finances. At some point, this person will come out of their hibernation or ignoring energy and will give you a Knight of Pentacles and a Ten of Pentacles. So in their own timing, they will make an effort. They will make a comeback. So it might take some time because the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving night, but their outcome that they will give to you is a 10. I would say it's worth waiting. So if you, if you feel like you have already sent a lot of follow-up and calls and texts, let it be because they will act in their timing because you've got a strength card as a hidden energy. I know that you really want a reply, a respond. You want to be understood by this person. But you've got to be strong and tough and be solid about your boundaries because it seems to be you've given so much time to wait. So if things aren't as, as interactive, as participative as they are, release. High Priestess. Look at that. Release. Be kind to your thoughts. The High Priestess in here is advising you. Be kind to your thoughts, you know. Be kind to your thoughts, be kind to your feelings, um, put a lot of boundaries, put a limit on how much you will give, you will wait. The most important thing in here is that you have tried your best to give a solution, you have reached out, you did wait. The High Priestess, the Page of Cups, this is where I've done all of my best sunshine, the Page of Cups. You know, I've been kind and generous and considerate. It's my time to have my me time you know you've you've done everything to make it work so you have participated to make things work in this reading you have put your input and participated to make things work it the ball is in their court it might take time i feel like whoever this person is they don't want to be bothered with the two of swords like do not disturb me they will come to their own terms their own timing and the outcome is a nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. So you've got to put boundaries on how much you give now. Because the advice is high priestess, page of cups. Now, be kind to your thoughts. Be kind to your feelings. Set boundaries. Because if it's meant to be, it will be. It will catch up on you. And it will. With the knight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles in here. It could be, it could be a job. You know, keep going. You will find a job. It could also be a person. Who is, they're not really allocating time to understand you. Eventually, they will realize your importance, the practicality of you and them talking versus not talking. They'll come around. So keep manifesting the good stuff, the good life, the good energy in here. Keep your thoughts. Like this page of cups, it's telling you, keep your thoughts um, kind. Be kind to your thoughts, to yourself. Keep and open kind thoughts towards your problem, the people around you, the situation that you are so focused at, okay? So this is you reading Aquarius. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And I hope you have connected in a reading, um, for private reading, for the merchandise, and for the service that we offer. Everything is processed in the website. Thank you again, Capricorn. Sorry, you could be dealing with a Capricorn Aquarius. I will catch up with you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.